I always tell people that you're an average of the five people that you spend your most time with. Calculate one, two, three, four, five. The five people that you spend your most time with. How are their characters? What do they believe in? This kind of people will make and will create the you because you're, you're just an average of the same. Even in school, you're being told that, show me your friends and I tell you who you are. Everywhere, they're talking about your friends. Why are we talking about friends all the time? Does it mean that friends are not good? No. Friends will either build you or distract you. And this is exactly what I want to speak today because today's topic is superb and lit. I want to speak about the seven mentalities that will make you poor. The seven mentalities that will make you poor. Why? These are mentalities which are brought by some kinds of people. We are all unique. If I took you and put you in an island alone, and took you again and put you in at the middle of India or Bangladesh or somewhere where it's full of people, you're interacting with people, your character in this place and this place will totally be different because our cells were influenced by our environments, our surroundings, the people we interact with. And that's why I've said that I want to speak about the seven mentalities that will make you poor. So number one, avoid this kind of people. Number one, being poor in spirit. Have you ever seen people who are always poor in spirit? Poor, poor, always negative. People are always speaking negative things, left, right, and center. They, they, they have nothing positive, nothing positive about themselves. They're always complaining. They're always saying that how this government is messing us up, how we don't have this, we don't have that. You know, this person hates me. This person is bad. This job is not working. My boss is, uh, is the worst in the world. My friends don't work. The, my relatives hate me. There are people who always have a bad spirit, bad energy. Avoid those kind of people. They will mess you up. They will make you poor because you start thinking the same way like them. Number two, poor in love. Have you seen people who are poor in love? When I talk about poor in love, I mean people who generally hate themselves. They, they just don't like themselves. They're always giving themselves the lowest that there could ever be. If they go to a shop to buy something or if they're going to eat food, they will only eat good food when they are buying for their friends or when they are doing something for a, a new girlfriend that they met. But themselves, they'll always starve themselves. They'll always give themselves the worst because they think, mm, myself, I don't deserve much. I need to show others, but for me, no, it's not supposed to be like, those are people who hate themselves. People who are full of, uh, full of hatred to themselves. How will this kind of people love you and open up your mind to loving others in themselves, they don't love themselves. You can't love when you, you can't love others when you can't love yourself. You can't have a positive energy. When yourself, you're already hating yourself. Why do you have so many suicidal thoughts People who are suiciding themselves and yet they are rich. Look at Europe. So many places in Europe. You see, a certain millionaire, a certain rich man has killed himself, has thrown himself from his uh, rooftop of his of his car or I mean of his house or maybe crashed his car or did something. And you're like, I thought this guy had it all. They didn't love themselves. Loving yourself is very different from money. Very different. And it will make you either make your mind to think in a very negative way or make you change uh, your strategies. Because if you love yourself and if you stay with people who love themselves, this is going to work automatically. It's going to change the way you think, loving yourself or not. And all this will impact on how positive you become even in your workplace. Number three, people who are poor in wisdom. These are people who know nothing. Have you been with people who know actually nothing? They always don't know what to do. They have no idea. Guys, can we cook rice today? Uh, I don't know, maybe. I... They are never decided on anything. They actually know nothing. Do you know how to do this? I don't know. Do you know how they? I don't know. There's one simple thing I always tell people. If you want to become a business person, never say no to an opportunity. 
let me explain to you. You may wonder why. If someone comes to me and tells me, Keith, uh, do you know where I can repair my car? I'm always like, yes, I know. Even if I don't know. The next, me uh, the next talk will be, He'll be asking me, how much can I change my bumper? It has been hit, or maybe I need to change uh, to service my car and all that. I'll tell him, hold on, let me confirm how much we usually do it for. I'm not a mechanic, I don't have a garage. Let me confirm how much we do it for on this kind of service. And I call someone, I'll call Kim, or I call Steve, or I call somebody else. Hello, do you know someone who, who has a garage or someone who can help us in this and this kind of thing? Even if they don't know, they will ask somebody else. And after two, three people, they will know. And then they will send me the number. And I'll begin with this uh, mechanic guy. And he will tell me, I charge 20,000. And then I'll call this other guy and tell him, hey, by the way, I just confirmed your order. And I think uh, in that kind of damage, the way it is like, eh, we charge 25,000 shillings or we charge 30,000 shillings. And then I have my cut and I tell this guy, hey, dude, I'm giving you 20,000. Eh? Whatever this guy pays, eh? The one above is mine, so let's let's keep the business clean. You already have your money, you already have everything that you want. And this is the aspect of business, because if you don't have wisdom, wisdom is very different from just education, what you learn in school. What you learn in school is just will help you to have the papers and for people to trust the papers, but for me, Personally, all the people that I've worked with, there's not even one single person I've asked a CV. Why? Because these are just papers. I'm a graphic designer. I can design them any minute. I know where they're designed in River Road. Why would I be asking for a paper? All I need is your skills, your wisdom. Open up your mind. These are, if you stay with people who lack wisdom, these are people, even if you don't know anything, there's YouTube, there is Google, there is papers, newspapers. Just learn. The people just hate learning. Wisdom is the daily increase that you should always have. Number four, avoid people who are poor in character. People who are poor in character. People who will never, uh, you can never rely on. These are people who, once you make a deal, you're always sure that you're crossing fingers, this guy might do it or he might not do it. He might come or he may not show up. These are people who are poor in character. Let's meet at 1. They will come at 2.30. Those are people to avoid. These are people who will drain you. People who will make you go down. They will make you go down. They, they lack basic integrity. They will never do what they say. These are the people to avoid. Someone who will tell him, do this work, do A, B, C, D, and... Two hours, three hours down the line, they are still fixing their nails. They're still working out, making a few phone calls. They are still on Facebook. Have you finished? Oh, I was just about to start. People who always lie to you. Where are you right now? Uh, I'm on Thika Road and you're not even on Thika Road. You're still in Muranga or wherever you are. Those are guys to avoid. Poor in character. Number five, poor in habits. These are other people to avoid. These are people who procrastinate a lot. People who are lazy. They value comfort only. People who use a lot of drugs. People who have poor lifestyles. This poor habits. They're always very lazy. Let's do this. Ah, maybe we'll do it next. No, let's start from tomorrow. No, today I'm not in the mood. You're always never in the mood of anything. Those are the kind of people that you should be avoiding. Avoid people who have this kind of bad habits they are always negative 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 let's do this it's not workable let's do this this person failed let's do this no that is for them is not us they are human beings like we are why would they be succeeding and we are failing it's because of their habits there's one person I was talking to another day and I was telling him he was telling me you know why Bill Gates and these other people are rich because they had good opportunities they had this and that and that's why they are rich and us we are poor but i told them one thing i told him one thing the opportunities that bill gates has uh, this other person has chris kirubi has who and who has all these people that we really say they are very rich is not really opportunities is the mentalities and the habits that they have placed on themselves which make them rich if right now 
we know that uh, almost everything on earth is owned by about 20% of the people on earth are the ones who own almost everything. If we got all the money, all the wealth, all the building, cars, money in the bank, and we divided equally amongst all of us 7 billion people in the world, we divided, if it's 1 million, we all have 1 million, all of us. And then we stay for a month or two or a year or two or three or four or five. After about five to ten years, all the money will go back to the same old guys. The same old guys. Why? It's because of their habits. They know how to invest. They know when to wake up. They know what to do. They know what to avoid, people to avoid, styles to do. They know how to read where they cannot be able to get information. They know how to use opportunities which are there. And you, you're still there busy complaining and saying the government is not giving us opportunities. The government is not opening our mind. The work of the government is not to give people jobs. It is basically to give you a good platform good platform to create your own job the work of the government is to make sure we have peace we have good roads we have this and that and then we can create our own government those people who are still crying and saying government is not giving us jobs there's no one day the government will come and tell you now i've dropped you three jobs get them it will never happen create your own job number six poor in attitude these are people to avoid People who have a very bad attitude, bad energy, drinkers, energy drinkers. I call them energy drinkers. Have you ever stayed with someone and he gives you stories and at the end of the day, after hearing those stories, you wish I, I, I just... I just went to the bathroom and took a bath. This person has just gave, given me a very bad energy. I feel so bad. After speaking to this person, there's nothing positive which has come from them. They have. They have sucked all my energy, good energy, everything. They have brainwashed me with a lot of ideas which are just making me hate people. I just wish I could hit this person. Gossipers. People always give you stories that at the end of the day you feel like, hmm? if they have talked about your neighbor, you start looking at your neighbor like, this person did this. You know? And it doesn't even matter. It's not... It's not that your neighbor is bad. It's the energy that you've been given by these people who have a very different attitude. These are people who drink the life out of view. Always negative. Avoid such kind of people. Stay with people who will give you nice ideas, nice energy. I always hear people saying positive vibes only. Number seven, the last point is poor in finance. When I talk about poor in finance, I mean, people who do not know how to save. Have you ever seen people who don't know how to save? Give him a thousand shillings. He, he always has a plan. Let's go here, let's go here. There's a friend of mine who used to tell me, Keith, if, if I was given a million shillings today, I think I would die tomorrow. Why? Hey, I would chafua like nonsense. Fine, you'll chafua and all that. Those are kind of people to avoid. Why? Because these people will only show you that I have a lot of money. Let's go and happen. Money does not like people who are always chasing after spending it. They like people who know how to multiply the same. The more you're multiplying your money, the more your money is coming over, 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 over. You have a lot of money. You actually don't know what to do. Look at, uh, I, I, love, I love Indians who are in Kenya. Reason, if you check an Indian in Kenya, they have one thing in common. They will come from India super broke very broke, having nothing, they're zero. And when these guys come, they hustle hard. They're waking up in the morning at six, they're at work. An Indian shop, if you want to get a spare part and the shop opens at six, it's usually six. They actually better just live on top of the house. I mean, on top of the shop, down there or behind the shop, so that at six, they're at work. They will do their job, they do their job, they do their job. They're really busy, really busy. You'll not even know who is the manager, who is the boss, who is who. And then at the end of the year, or the, uh, during the holidays, you'll see them at uh, sun and sand, white suns, having relaxing at the beach, enjoying themselves, drinking all the drinks that you've never, you only see only on the internet, and then complaining, these guys have taken our jobs. And you yourself, you sleep and wake up at eight or nine, when you go to the, uh, your work, you're the super boss who cannot even hold a spoon, who cannot even hold something, and you want to become a rich person, it will not work for you. Poor people, poor people always don't know how to 
manage their finances. So avoid people who have this kind of mentality of I am so I'm so executive, I'm so this, I cannot do A, B, C, D. When I'm going on my travels with uh, some of the guys that I've employed in my job, we have a puncher, we are out there, I'm changing the tire or maybe I'm taking from the boot, I'm doing this and that, hey let's go and pick this, let me do this part and you do this. You won't know who is who, why? Because I don't have a mentality of failing in whatever I do. I like to show it by example. The right bosses, the right people who know what they do, they show by examples. They don't just sit down and put their hands back on, on, their, on their sofa and their seat and then start ordering by eh, finger. Do that, do that. Nothing will be done. No, nobody will sit down and do what you ought to do. Wake up and change these things. Because if you stay with kind of people who have just noted here, poor in spirit, poor in love, poor in wisdom, poor in character, poor in habits, poor in attitudes, poor in finance, how do you expect to be rich in whatever you're doing? I hope this video has made you realize something. Kindly, you can subscribe to this channel down there. There is a subscription button. And of course, of course hit this uh, notification button so that you don't miss a video any new video that we always post and if you're watching on facebook kindly you can share subscribe i mean you can share you can like you can comment to your friends and i'm sure your life will never be the same again see ya have a great time